right, in this module, we're gonna jump into operators. It's a pretty simple module. It's actually basic math. We're only gonna cover the four primary math operators of multiply, divide, and add and subtract. And uh, we'll talk about some order precedence and also some compound assignments, which are kind of neat uh, and some shortcuts they can use. But ultimately, this one should be a no brainer. So let's get started. All right, so in our operators module, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover three items. First, the basic arithmetic operator, and what is it, and how do we code it up in Swift? Secondly, we're gonna talk about order of operations or precedence, and you'll be happy to know this is identical to what they would have covered in a, in a basic math class. And then third, the compound assignments and how do we use those. So let's jump in. So first of all, for basic arithmetic operators, we have five different things. One is the assignment itself, which remember we said is gets the value of. Uh, we also have the plus operator, which is addition. We have the minus, which is subtraction. We have the multiply or the asterisk or the star, which is multiplication. And then finally, we have division, which is the slash. So let's start out with assignment. You know, the assignment operator is basically the equal sign. And remember, this isn't saying that something is equal to something else. This is basically saying, for example, right here, we have a var, which we remember declared a variable. Here is the variable name. In this case, it's my age. And then finally, uh, and that isn't my age, but it is an age. Uh, and then the equal sign is like before. It means gets the value of, and in this case is 16. And here's another example, office address, and we gave it a string. So that's just a reminder of basic assignment, but assignment's important because that's where we're going to put the results of various arithmetic operators. So if we look at addition to start with, it uses the plus as the operator for addition. And here, again, we declare this age, and for example, we could do 14 plus 2, as a operator for addition, and that would add it up to 16. And we can also do this for floating point numbers as well. So for example, here's a variable pi, and here is two floating point operators that we add together to get the result. So that's addition. Now subtraction, very similar, right? We use the minus sign or the dash, and here we're saying 18 minus two, which gives us 16, is the uh, value that's gonna go into this variable. And here we're starting out with 3.2415, subtracting 0.1, and we get the result in pi. And so that is subtraction. The third one is multiply. So this one is a little different because uh, in a lot of different classes that students will take, the use of the multiply operator is different. So for example, in math class here, we see that a lot of times when we first start out, they'll use the X. So six times three is whatever, and they'll use the X as the multiplier. And then as we get into algebra class, we find out that they may drop it completely. And so like L and W, let's say that's the length and width of a rectangle, by putting them together like this, we actually are implying multiplication. And so A being the area is equal to length times width, there's an implied operator there of multiply. And then another way you might see it is the dot. So six dot X would be six multiplied by X. However, in our uh, system, in programming in general, in Swift, and this is true in all the other languages that I'm aware of, we use the star as the multiplier. And that's what we're gonna use going forward for that. So. If we look at this, here's age, and we have eight times two, which again, gets 16. Uh, another one, here's a value of 1.05. If we multiply by three, we end up with pi at 3.1415. And then finally, division. So here's the division symbol, which is a slash. Again, division sometimes is represented differently in math class and in other uh, courses. Um, one way to do it would be, let's say we were dividing four by three, we would have four uh, with a line over it and a three, sort of like a fraction, that's a division. Uh, and also sometimes you'll see divi division written out like that, which is two dots with a line through the middle as a divide. And again, we won't use either of those, we are going to use the slash here as the way to represent division in Swift and true of most all other programming languages. 
So for example, if we have age and we have 32 slash two, that's 32 divided by two, which gives us a value of 16. Or if we took this value 6.283, divided it by two, we would end up again with pi. So that's the division operator. Now, order of precedence, the nice thing about it is this is just like math class. So essentially, the order of precedence that students have already learned should be completely natural in Swift. So for example, the multiply and the divide, when they see that in an expression, those are going to be executed before any additions or subtractions. So the order of precedence gives precedence to multiply and divide. And then the other thing is also true is that the order either does or doesn't matter as far as which one is on which side of the operator, depending on uh, whether you're talking about multiply and plus or divide and subtract. So for example, multiply and plus are uh, basically uh, the, of the type where it does not matter the order. Three times four is the same as four times three. Uh, however, division and subtraction, the order does matter. So again, just like in math. So four minus three is not the same as three minus four, so you can't swap them. And then of course, sometimes when you uh, need to create an arithmetic expression, the order of precedence is wrong for what you're trying to do, for the calculation you're doing. And of course, just like in math class, we would use the uh, parentheses uh, to do that. So for example, here, if I'm trying to calculate my age at 16, uh, two times two is four, that's correct, and it did that first, plus four would give me eight, but that's not the correct answer. So really what we wanted to do is take four and two and add them together first, so we put those in parentheses, so that's done first, this gives you eight times two, which is 16, and now it works. So let's just check our understanding and work through these four elements to see if we understand whether it comes up with the right value or not. So for example, if we start here with the first one, it's saying that we're gonna do 4.5 times two, so that would be nine, and then we would add it to 0.8, and we would end up with 9.8 for the acceleration rate due to gravity, and this is correct, so th this one would be good to go. Now, the second one is where we've changed the order of precedence here. So by doing this, we're up at what, 5.3 times two, which would be 10.6, and that's not the right answer. And so this would change the result. And then third, for let's say division, uh, we've got here 19 divided by two, uh, so that is uh, 9.5, and we add a 0.3, sure enough, we get the right answer of 9.8. However, uh, and then in this final case, we put the parentheses uh, reinforcing an order of precedence that's already there, which is fine. It doesn't cause any error. You can do that. And sometimes it's more clear to the person reading the code, uh, especially if it's not jumping out to them uh, order of precedence. I try to encourage uh, students to use parentheses whenever possible um, to just help the equation read better. Now, the final thing to talk about is compound assignments. And compound assignments are really just shortcuts. Um, and so uh, it's uh, another term that you might hear in the software development world is syntactic sugar. And what it means is that you don't really need it. Uh, you can completely code without it, but sometimes it's nice to write it where you don't have to type as much and it'll read a little easier. So for example, if I wanted to take uh, my age at a, at a value of 16 and get it up, or 15, and get it up to 16, I would want to add one to it. Well, one way to do it is like this, right? So we have my age equals my age plus one. That is totally valid. And for many students, that may really make it clear to them that they're taking some value here, my age, adding one to it, and then get, and then giving it the result here. So my age gets the value of its current age plus one, and that goes into the new, uh, that's the new value stored in the variable. However, another way to do it is like this. So here we can use the plus uh, equal sign, and what this is implying is basically the same as this. It's saying add one to my age and then assign it to my age. And so this is what we refer to as a compound assignment. 
And for compound assignments, you can basically do this for all of the different operators. So you could do this for multiply as well. So here we're saying if pi is 1.57, here we're multiplying it by two and assigning its value. And again, it's equivalent to this. So that's basically operators. There, now there are quite a few other operators that are built into Swift, but for the basics in this part of the class, this is what we're gonna uh, focus on. So we did the basic arithmetic operators. Remember there's still a quali uh, e e Remember there's still the equal sign, which means gets the value of, and then we have add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And then uh, order of operations, we have precedence. So we know that the precedence is identical to the way we've learned it in math class. There's nothing different there. And third is we've been introduced to compound assignments, which again is syntactic sugar. And it's not something that's required, but it is kind of a little bit of a shortcut and it potentially reads a little easier. Um, I'm not a big proponent one way or the other with uh, compound assignments. I think that's up to you and the students and the particular developer to decide which method they like better.